to make a trip over to my local BJ's and stock up on pretty much snacks and um, juices and things for the kids. So I thought I would share with you my little trip. So starting off, we needed um, some more water. Uh, my husband drinks solely um, just water. He's not a soda or juice fan. And he has his coffee in the morning and he likes his water. So yes, we do drink bottled water. Um, just at this point in our lives, it's easier. I don't mind spending the money and we do recycle the, um, the bottles. Um, so I grabbed that. This was on sale for four bucks. So that was a great deal. Um, I grabbed a down comforter. This was a king size one. We have a queen size bed, but I do like to have a little extra blanket. It was only $11.99. So I'm like, hey, for $11.99, might as well grab us uh, another comforter for our bed. Um, all right, so I grabbed some bread. Uh, my husband and the kids, they actually prefer the nature's own. Um, when I go to Market Basket or Walmart or whatever, some you know, usually I'll grab one or two loaves of their store brand um, just to have in the deep freeze. But uh, my family does prefer the nature's own butter bread. Um, so I grabbed some of that. I grabbed some sour cream because we go through a lot of sour cream. Cottage cheese. Um, I like to have this for myself for a snack. Um, sometimes, you know, I'll put a scoop of it on my salad and such. Um, but this is like a quick, like, I guess mid morning, mid afternoon snack for myself. Um, I'll just scoop up a little bowl, maybe put some fruit on it. Um, I grabbed some Hellman's mayonnaise. This big bottle here, what is this, 48 ounces, was only $3.98, which is a great, great deal considering that even my store brands around here for the smaller bottles are like three, four bucks. Um, I grabbed some half and half for our coffee. Um, I grabbed some bananas. Um, we just uh, ran out of bananas. I like to always have some sort of fruit in the house right now. I still have some of the fruit from my Trader Joe's trip. We still have some oranges left. Um, a couple of pears and apples, so I wanted to grab some bananas to add to that variety. Um, I grabbed some round roast. Um, let's see, so it's a little over four pounds um, for $14.28, which was a really, really good deal. I'm going to slice one of them up into little steaks, and then the other one I will use as a pot roast. Uh, coffee. Uh, we drink decaf coffee. Um, my husband doesn't like to have too much caffeine, so I kind of had to switch to decaf also because it wasn't worth me making two separate pots of coffee. Um, so I just switched to decaf also. Um, and this big bag was only $13. So it's cheaper than if you go to the grocery store or you go to Dunkin' Donuts and buy their coffee in the store. So I always get a really good deal, especially on the decaf because for some reason, when you go to the grocery store, like the store brand will be like three bucks, but the decaf is like five fifty. I, I don't understand why decaf is more expensive than regular coffee, so I always stock up on that. I grabbed another case of the Snack Pack Unicorn. Um, I'm going to be using these as a class treat um, for Valentine's Day for um, my daughter's kindergarten class. Um, I'm going to decorate them like unicorns and put them in the goodie bags um, for her class. I might do a quick little um, YouTube tutorial um, when I sit down to do that. Um, but also my daughter um, and kids just absolutely love, um, love these, so I grabbed another case of those. Um, and these were $7, I believe, and you get 24 cups in there, plus the fun little tattoos. Um, they had an in-store coupon to save, um, I believe it was $1.50 off of the Lunchables. So I grabbed um, the Lunchables six pack. I think it came out to six bucks. So they came out to like a buck a piece. Um, these will probably be gone by the end of the day because as soon as my kids see a Lunchable in the fridge, because I don't buy them often, because um, they're usually really expensive, um, they'll gobble these right on up. I grabbed five dozen eggs. They had um, in, BJ sends like a coupon booklet um, at the beginning of every month. Um, I'm not sure if Costco does that or not. I, I've never really had a Costco membership. So, but BJ's um, sent a coupon book and they had a coupon for a dollar off of the five dozen eggs. So this ended up costing me five, 
79, I believe, 579. So not too bad. Um, when I am able to find the five dozens at Walmart, I do like to get them because they're only 427, but I haven't been able to find them lately. Uh, so, and I definitely needed eggs and I go through a lot of eggs. Um, apple juice, I got the double pack. This was only four bucks. Um, my eldest daughter likes to drink the apple juice. Um, I got a case of goldfish crackers. This is the variety pack. My kids love these. These are a great grab and go. Um, I'll probably throw a couple of these in my pocketbook um, just to have because there's times where I have to pick my kids up from school and we got to go run an errand real quick and they'll be like, oh, I'm hungry. And so instead of having to stop at the store and spend money, I like to keep these either in the car, um, keep a couple of them in the car or in my purse just as a quick snack. And it's great for um, something for them to grab in the morning um, when they're heading off to school to stick in their backpack is like a mid-afternoon snack. Um, yogurts. I grabbed another case of the Yo Crunch Lo yogurts. My kids love these. Um, this will not last long because this is another like afternoon, evening snack. If they're hungry, they'll just go and grab a yogurt. They will eat it for breakfast, um, but they also eat it like throughout the day. Um, gallon of milk. We were running low on milk and their uh, whole milk is only $1.99, which is a great price. Um, I grabbed a pack of their fresh baked chocolate chip muffins. Um, they're $4.49. Again, kids love these. Um, husband loves to take them to work as a little treat. So I always pick up a package of those um, when I go and that'll last probably like two days maybe. Um, it won't make it through the weekend, I can guarantee that. Um, I grabbed a big case of Little Huggies. Um, convenient, I keep them in the fridge for the kids as, you know, a quick juice or whatever. Um, so they like to have those. Um, the Kool-Aid Snow Day Jammers, um, I like to pack these in my daughter's lunch um, because I don't have to worry about them spilling or anything. And the Little Huggies, she has a hard time opening up the top. so. I grab these for um, for her lunches and just to have juices in the house. And these are great because again, I can put one case of these in the car. So if we're out driving anywhere and the kids are thirsty or whatever, I try not to stop at places because you always end up spending so much more money. Um, so keep these, um, keep those on hand. Sunny D, my eldest loves these and they had a in-store coupon from the little booklet thing. So this was only like six, six something um, for 24 of them. So I figured these are great. And then also what's good is that all these drinks, um, they don't have to be refrigerated. So obviously we're not gonna drink these all in one week. Um, so I'll probably put one of these out and then the other ones will go in the pantry um, for, you know, to replenish the supply when there's no more juice or anything to drink. Um, I grabbed the big old box of Scooby-Doo fruit snacks. My kids love these. These I will have to um, ration and hide because if my kids see it, they will sit there and attempt to eat the entire box, all 90 pouches, you know, like they're like puppies. If you don't stop them, they'll just keep eating and eating and eating until it's gone and they make themselves sick. Uh, so this big box, I will pull some out and put them into a bowl or something like that in the pantry and then I will strategically hide these um, in another safe and secure location in the home and just kind of replenish the supply as they dwindle so that they don't sit there and eat the entire box. All right and then last but not least I grabbed a case of the liquid gold of Velveeta cups. Um, my kids absolutely love these. I don't trying to grab that with one hand and won't pick up. Um, I don't usually like to buy these because again, once the kids see these, they want to eat all of them all in one day. Um, so it, when I do go to BJ's and I buy stuff in bulk like this, I do have to ration it out. And again, my kids are not little kids. They're teenagers, um, adults. Um, and then I do have a five-year-old who seems to be the only one with common sense. Um, so when I buy items in bulk like this, I do have to ration them and, you know, put the fear in the kids and tell them not to eat everything 
all at once that there is always food in the house and it's not going anywhere but they don't listen to me and they like to just sit there and they see food and they want to eat it all so most of this stuff will be put um, in another location and rationed out so that it does last me more than the weekend <laughs> all right so I hope you enjoyed this little video and my trip to the wholesale store and until next time kiddos Bye.